Okay, so I learned that the true male name of a Karen is Kyle. I thought it would be Terry because it, the name had a similar relevancy as Karen, but I guess it's been Kyle all along. So I never thought I had to make another video about this, another anti-masker. But I guess it's the only way I can get more than 10 views on a video on this platform, or let alone the internet in general, right? But here it is again. I, we got another Kyle, a Lyft driver this time. Yep, ghetto ass bitch. Lyft does the same thing too. But anyway, we got this man here because you know the story at, you know the story at this point. Man doesn't want to put on his mask, this and that, blah, blah, blah. He goes on and says, whatever he care or, or Kyle says, you believe that? Or you do what the government tells you to do? But it's kind of different among the last two people because he's a complete racist and it ain't afraid to show it. <laughs> I saw this video before when I tried making my first Karen freak out video, but I was like, instead of doing a compilation because I think that would be too long, I'll just do that guy on from Texas. But yeah, here I am now because I found this on public freak out. I guess I kind of have a a reason and more information to add now to this video so yeah let's get started grab yourself a snack of dirt and the blood of syrian children here we go in the beginning of the video the guy enters the uber ride without a mask as well so the driver had to ask him to put on a mask and then he says he doesn't have one even when he was asked to put his shirt over his mouth and can't even do that either right after that he says this no problem by any chance do you have a mask no i don't can, do you mind to put your shirt on top right here so it's gonna be really appreciated i'm sorry you believe in that shit yes i do because i have a, a family that is that is uh, sick of that at that moment, you could see the disappointment in the passenger's face. He's like, oh, you believe in that shit? You know, it's fake, right? Well, guess what? It's happening. This shit's real. I even know someone myself that got caught it. And the funny thing is, if some of these people get it, they will still think it's fake and they'll say it's either flu or allergies. Doesn't mean it never happened to you. Doesn't mean it ain't happening elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't believe our government, so. Well, it's not, it's not the government. It's... The, the people that is, is getting sick. Okay. I'm sorry I don't have a mask. Yeah. So we never heard of someone asking him to wear a mask. I wonder if these types of people come from a mob spawner at this point because it's like they just woke up from a coma after six months. I don't know which state this takes place in but I feel like no matter where you are I feel like he had to be asked that at least once somewhere. If not he's probably living in his trailer parks his entire life and this is like the first time he left his trailer park for the first time in his life ever. Probably fucking his daughter a legally adopted daughter because no one would want to be with this guy. Well, it could be biological because some people would like to be with the wrong person. And as I said before, oh, my redneck came out. But yeah, as I said before, people multiply like skin cancer and why I don't want to have kids at all, let alone be with someone. Oh, it's taking me to the freeway. You want to take that way or you going to... Well, if you want to drive around here all night long without a mask, that's fine. If you want to get me home quick, you go that way. That's, that's fine. You. I don't like you. You don't like me? You wanna no. get out? I feel like he would have simply arrived home a lot earlier without mentioning the mask park. After all, he simply asked politely once, the driver asked politely once to put that shit on. The driver just wanted to drive wherever is shown to, on the navigation or simply avoid the freeway because I assume around that time it's always trapped. Then the passenger had to add fuel to a fire of driving him a longer way without his mask. The driver was asking what way he wanted to go and decided to go to straight up say that he doesn't like the guy because of a mask policy and said so he's going to give him a shitty review. All this because of like all of this like bro like these people are trying to do their job safely to protect everyone and themselves don't give them more worries i don't know too much about lyft but jesus man come on you know what you can get out right now you try go ahead nope the contract is not end yes i told you i didn't like your your, your standards I'm entitled to free speech. Is yes, you cannot sir. contract. Not, you cannot cancel the contract for that. I honestly hate that. The people that think that the customer is always right. That makes no sense. If the customer is always right, then they're practically above the president at this point, or like the queen or the king. But yes, you may be entitled to free speech, but at the same time, it is his car and his property. Like you have the freedom to indeed to say something that you don't like or like what he's doing. But since it really be free speech out there, the guy has also the freedom to kick you out. Out if you're disrespecting him in his job like that. You represent Lyft. One, then two, Lyft. Then your little candy ass fat your white glasses. Mm-hmm. I just fucking crush your fucking skull right now. You're on video. 
I'm not going to do that though because I'm, I'm, I'm not an idiot. And here we go with the threats already. This man basically wanted to kill this dude, crush his fucking skull. And the moment he was told he was on video, he tried to play it off like he was acting. If you were really you weren't going to do that, especially in a situation like this, you would have never said that. You know you wanted to crush his skull and uh, beat the fuck out of this guy. Imagine if there was no camera right there. This guy would probably be in his grave already. Like, I like how he says that he isn't an idiot that he's being recorded and then later goes on to show how big of a piece of shit he is later in the video. I'll show what, I'll show what I mean when I get to that part. I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. How can you say you finished the trip and I live four miles that way? Because we're right here, I already ended up the trip, and now please get out or I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call the police. How could you say you finished the trip when I want to go I did finish there. the trip. I finished the trip. You didn't cancel the trip? Though. I did. No, I didn't cancel. I finished the trip. It's okay, different. so I'll just have to call Lyft and complain about it. Go you. ahead. He finished the trip because you were being a prick to the guy, starting off with not putting a mask on and talking to the driver in such a rude manner. I don't know where he dropped him off to kick him out, but technically he did finish the trip. It's like a person not respecting their limits in bed and all of a sudden they just finish early. At this point, the driver can call the cops too. At this point, he's trespassing. He's in someone's property without their permission at this point. And I like how he said that he's going to write a complaint about him on Lyft. Like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Are they gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry about the driver's behavior? Because you know, the customer is always right. Like, these Kyles tend to play the victim all the time. Look at the one girl that coughed on the Uber driver and how she live streamed the whole thing and she was playing the victim. Hey, she's serving 20 years in prison now. <laughs> Up to 20 years, though. Okay, that's rough. Go ahead, I have video. Yeah, you got video? Yeah. You got video? Yeah. Hey, you got video? Yeah. Hey, you ever take English class? You got video? You got video? Do you, do you take uh, models class? What? Models. What's models? That's basically every Karen once things don't go their way. And as a last resort, they usually start either start mentioning it's America or they simply just start getting racist. Yeah, like literally right here is where he starts getting racist. Mocking the way he pronounces the word video. Because, you know, Spanish speakers tend to pronounce their V's and B's the same. But he gets mad to the point where he starts mocking the driver's pronunciation. In a way, he fell right into his trap because the driver also asked him if he takes a morals class. An ethics class, perhaps. But a morals class. And he continues to mock his pronunciation. And now he looks like a fool on camera. Thinking that he has no idea what morals are. It really goes to show what he really is. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. If he does care about anyone, perhaps if he only cares about people that are white, that's it. You don't even, you don't, you don't even speak. You no, don't I, even... Don't, I don't know, because I speak English. Yeah, you think you speak, e well, you speak English, but boy. you don't. I'm from here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're a fucking wetback. And you, uh, you are? I'm an American, motherfucker. I fought for, I'm an for three times. I'm an American, too. Three times in the goddamn war. I'm an American, too. No, I don't, but you don't speak English. Yes, I do speak English. Okay, I speak well, yes, it goes that far, like so far to the point where the passenger ends up calling him a racial slur. The N-word equivalent to the Mexicans, you already heard it. I'm not gonna repeat myself. And ask if he speaks English in such a mocking way. Like, bro, this conversation would never happen if he was speaking in a different language. The passenger goes on to say that he's an American. Well, hey, if you're American, show me your CDIV card. And don't get me started when he said that he served in three wars. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? With the shape that he's in, like a 300 pound dude, like life after the military really made you that fat fuck that quickly, huh? I don't like making fun of people's appearance in general, especially if they can't change it easily. But him saying that he fought in three wars, I can't judge him completely because what if by small margin he's telling the truth? And all of a sudden he had like a life-changing field trip. But honestly, my gut tells me at the same time that he's not telling the truth and he's this is like one of the excuses that these guys pull out. But I feel like the three wars that he fought were like the war between two trailer parks because he looks like he came out of trailer park boys. The war against fast food workers. I was first in line at CC's Pizza. The war between his shit particles and his ass crack. And the ongoing anti-masker war. I did look up how many wars in the US got involved, including the sideshow ones. And holy crap, can American go a day without fighting in a war? It's like the fire nation, man. But I will stop myself because I probably will go off topic right here. But I hate it when they say that they are American because technically if the driver was an American, he wouldn't be driving for Lyft, I'm pretty sure. Unless he has, like, a work visa. But I would still consider him American anyway. And matter of fact, he is technically more American than that douchebag. Or, 
almost most of us in general because because um he's mexican and he's he has like mixed native american blood in him dna perhaps aztec or the mayan but yeah the drama like this continues on eventually he gets out of the car and i hate when people in general say this is america speak english like united states of america doesn't have an official language at federal level like yes it's the most spoken language at the end of the day i'm sure there's no law that stating that only english is required you're not allowed to speak any other language like they're just mad because they don't understand them? Are they mad because they think they're spies of ISIS or something? But yeah, I think the driver needs to spray his car with 12 cans of Febreze after he left. But I guess that's the end of the video. This, this was just last year, so I assume things are getting crazier outside of Chicago. <coughs> <laughs> Especially when vaccines are rolling out, but no, some people think it's like a microchip or something that the government will track you. Well, guess what? If you put on that mask, no one will know it's really you. <laughs> but I can understand other reasons why some people wouldn't get the vaccine because it was like developed so quickly, unusually quickly compared to like how it was in the past. But yeah, may I hope this is my final rant on Karen's. At least for the mask part. But anyway, yeah, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to follow me and yeah i'll see you guys later peace